Oh, baby. Welcome to the Squad Mod Weekly. My name's Johnny Omaha, and we're here live. Let's get our people. We got tons in the room here. Tons in the hizzy. Ladies and gentlemen, row code Axton, virus.exe, and Strange Zach. Boys, thanks for being here with me today. Thanks for inviting us. Absolutely. We got a world, world first new game mode. Tell me all about it. Well, <clears throat> I take that part, I guess. That's uh, game mode, actually, just like Battlefield series Rush, but with uh, a bit of a squ squad fl flavor. Uh, it's basically, uh, you got two, two pair of objectives and three phases. You, uh, you, uh, each phase consists of uh, one pair of, of objectives, and at, uh, you got an attacker's team and defender's team. Attackers should uh, destroy the, uh, the weapon caches, and defenders sh should defend them. As, as you as you can think and after each uh, after each pair of objective is destroyed you are pu you're pushing to the next phase and after phase three uh ended the uh, attackers have won that's all and that's, that's it. it so right now cora valley what do we call in this game mode this world first brand new game mode here it's called destruction destruction thank you virus and you you're the author of this mod well technically i just made all the coding uh, <laughs> but uh, but but uh, our uh, been our famous uh, nordic socialist was uh, the one who asked me to do it oh wow so got to got to represent for the mumble reens who i believe are here yes playing with ffo this is we've got full man we have a, almost a full server here and i think this is going to be open for everybody is that right Rocode? code no this one's uh, this is going to be a scrim and then this we're going to move it to open all right so it's a scrim to start and then we're going to move to open so we've got 28 players ish on each team but there uh, is there is the total war modded server like usual that is up playing yes. in while this is going on absolutely so total war modded is going on right now thank you very much axton and let's take a look on how Cora Valley Destruction is going to work today. I'm going to hop into a squad here. And we are on the Russian team. So we're going to watch them. They're going to be defending these caches, these weapon caches, looks like. Yeah, the defenders team got the uh, four, uh, two four spawns, uh, one each near first of object, uh, first objectives, and uh, th these four spawns are temporary. Uh, they will last only for a minute, and they got a uh, plenty of ammo crates down there. Uh, uh, they uh, have uh, infinite ammo, uh, and those ammo crates gonna last for uh, five minutes. Holy so cow. It, it's uh, it's made for. Uh, uh, defenders to, uh, to help them out uh, to, to hold uh, the fir first wave of, of attackers, while the vehicles, the, heavy, uh, the BTRs and the larger, larger trucks, are uh, going for, for reinforcement from the Russian main base. And let's see here. I actually don't have my ticket count in the upper. Okay, so there's a thousand tickets for the defenders, and it is the invasion almost type here. So 338 for United States. Yep, and for each wrap and cash destroyed, attackers gains uh, 50 tickets. Now they're dead, I killed two. They're dead, dude. And right off the bat, you can see immediately that it's way more faster paced action here. Oh, yeah, big time. Out of the gate, the contact happens in less than 30 seconds. We normally have to wait about two minutes and 30. Ace Hardcastle goes down from Conniption. I'm fragging across the street. They're close east on us, Gravity. Also, 
I gave uh, I uh, I gave uh, US team attack attackers team a uh, few more vehicles than defenders. So they got a six M wraps with the two of them uh, is cr uh, are crows one, and defenders got only two BTRs and one MTLB with the KPVT. We saw those M wraps just roll it out of there. Uh, FFO Moose here, Lieutenant Moose. Oh, I don't know if he's got this one stuck or not. Yeah, it looks like he does. Yep. Not a horrible place to get stuck, but not a great, not great. And US unable to try to get, looks like this fob down. Andrew 27 and Bone here holding down this fob. Hab combo, and it looks like both caches still doing well. Then Virus, you're telling me that these guys have infinite ammo for the first couple minutes? Uh, yeah, for uh, for five minutes. So they got uh, those ammo crates. Uh, mm -hmm. th 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 these ammo crates are infinite, uh, have infinite supplies in it, uh, so they can just sit on uh, sit on them and spam uh, spam rockets, nades, whatever they want. Uh, but they will last only for five minutes. Oh, oh, looks did like they, first cash going down. Did they crack it? Looks like it. That's it. Cook it off right now. I love that effect, by the way. There it Boom. goes. Boom goes the dynamite. First cash down. No one was fucking paying attention. Well, looks like US got some proficient. Uh, they they were started with the third. 350 tickets and now they got the 371 the 371 the yep they got more than they when we started on one of the I, dude, I, I don't know i can't i can't gravity it's, gravity, it's gonna be here gravity looks like we've got a couple of these here rocky thanks for the follow kendall roney great to see you kendall Draugr in the house and oh, oh second, is that the other one yep Snap, crackle, pop. Down goes the cash. Now, is it going to be in this exact same spot every single time, Virus, or is it like somewhere uh, in this area? Uh, nope. It's a it's just same like an insurgency. So there's a small a area, uh -huh. small, small, small area. Uh, just like an insurgency, that area where cash may, be, may spawn, it's uh, Dude, pretty dead. large, you know? And, uh, right. Uh, and here it's limited by the ne nearest marked compound. Okay. But the exact okay. spot inside the compound Stop is uh, uh, random. Uh, I got, I think, I think I got uh, in the in the northern objective uh, uh, on the, the current face. Yep, uh, on the center of the map. I think I got uh, about 20 or maybe even 25 possible spots inside that compound. Okay. So there is still a lot of variety uh, that can happen here, but man, it is quick. This is hot. This is heavy. Dude, I, I don't care. Just drop a fobs. And gravity coming back to this southern ammo crate, but then FFO classified moving up with the Mat V. Bro, U.S. moving anywhere. fast, I'm moving right fast right on this here. next set of Need two on me. objectives. That's wrong comms, dude. Gravity, they, never mind. Oh heck, on YouTube asking with contact that close and concentrated, are the respawn times adjusted? Virus, is there anything you can uh, shed some light on about the respawn times? Uh, respawn times? Uh, uh, you mean on the caches? Uh, the thing is, uh, caches here is not just like an insurgency. You can spawn on the caches. Cash is just like objective. Uh, okay. That's all. You, you can spawn on them. So there is no need to adjust time, uh, time spawn. So it looks like we've got a cache here in... Oh my goodness gracious. It's done. It's, it's dropped. It's dropped. It's dropped. Is there a... The cache... So the... The cache is actually the purple marker. 
Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's uh, uh, purple, yeah, pur pur purple marker uh, only for defenders. Only defenders can see them. Okay. You can see them because yeah. because we're in admin camp, and it shows exact uh, location. Of course, of course, and uh, yellow marker is for attackers, and it shows the Which compound. Zone. Okay, cool. Headshot thirteen Vegas says, uh, "Good job on this game mode, virus. Keep up the great work." Thank you. And then rugby asks, also on the game mode, are the two objectives tied together? So three sequences of two, or are all six eligible? Uh, it's the three sequences of two. United States Army sitting pretty at 401 tickets. They've got a lot of tickets they can do a lot of action with here. And again, uh, I love your backpack, Fumaza, Ghost 0128, Tucci, Nordic, Hexcast, Kalen, Moldy, Beginra, uh, Meat Machine here, Bill Nye the Science Guy, Lieutenant Moose, Become Copper River, Kudu, .exe, uh, Neo, Archangel, 175, Sniper Yan, Omaha Bowman, Tiamat, Zero G, Broken, Ace Hardcastle, Classified, Scarface, Dogman. We are, actually, Encarta is asking, we're not playing on Total War Mod of the this week. We are, indeed, right after we're done with this world first game mode of, uh, we're calling it Destruction. Although there is about 10 of us playing on. Uh, yeah, there's, there's people on Total War Modded already. You can already join. But yeah, there's. So you can the join. Game. Stream's not on there. Not yet. Not yet. Southern Rogue said, Kudu told me Elements of V10 was in this mode. Did I just get trolled? Yes, yes you did. Uh, yes, yes. If it's Kudu, then yes. <laughs> and then meanwhile, we got Doc Hammer, Andrew27, Telemon, Jetski, Noodle, Don't Panic, My Frags Are Organic, Thick Kevin, Bone, Art of War, Odie, Sub Zero, Minty Chandler, Spot, SB the Bruce, Jamps, Dryer Lint, Gravity, Sergeant Banana, Conniption, Big Baller, K2 Nod, Soul Reaver 234, Katana. Sorry, it's Canada. Every time I see Katana. Stacks 420. And then we've got uh, Vaughn and Connor. And Wolf Legends. Oh, my goodness. Can't do Cran up in the chat here. And boys, I have got to set this so I've got a birthday boy who's not too happy. I'm going to quick set this camera on our objective here to the south on radio station. I will be right back in just a moment. Okay, I filled in last time for Johnny. One of you guys have to up. <laughs> I'm going to just... Uh, what do you mean last time? I'm just going to... Right here. I'll be right back, boys. Last week, I was filling in for Johnny. Thank you. That is true. It should be strange, Zach, this time. No, I'm actually... I'm dealing with other squad stuff right now. So. Wow. So I've been working on wow. squad Big while the shipment is running. Here. I tell you what. <laughs> Dev, wow. wow. Big shot. Yeah, yeah. Good. So, Virus, what sets this apart from normal insurgency? Uh, so, so, sorry, what? What sets this game mode apart from normal insurgency? In uh, it's, uh, from normal insurgency, it, uh, east, I guess it uh, just predefined locations of the cache. So, you always know where, uh, a area where the cache will be. So, you can play. Uh, yeah, it's more linear. Uh, let's say, for example, on the Kohat, uh, uh, on the insurgency, you don't know where where the uh, the cache can can spawn, and you you ha you have to prepare to go a anywhere anywhere on the map. And here, you always know that uh, for uh, that uh, second cache, uh, one of the second caches will be somewhere yeah, sorry, in the grape farm. Point, please, uh, second one will be uh, uh, somewhere right in the radio station. Oh, uh, so you always know the, your uh, the cache, area right? of action. Yeah, so it seems like a nice uh, kind of intermediate between uh, AES or invasion and. Uh, yeah, but yeah, but what, it's more like uh, insurgency and invasion combined, I'd say. Yep, nice.
I don't know if you guys were watching the chat there for a moment, but apparently somebody in Mumba rendered a key on Running Duck Stream, and then uh, he and then he killed uh, uh, Nordic, who who told him about it right after. It was really funny. Very good. Oh, nice. Uh, I uh, actually got the second, uh, first cache, so, southern run, on the right, on, on the right. I love that effect, that's awesome. It's like a box of fireworks going off. Yeah, there's also grenade stuff in there, which uh, caught me by surprise when I immediately died. Oh! I probably just lost another MRAP. Defenders needs to be buffed. Mm. I don't. What do you think, guys? Mm. I don't know if uh, they just need their logi closer or whatever. We'll see. Yeah, time will have to tell. We'll have to see how it goes on a pub match as well. Yeah. Johnning will be joining us soon. Uh, his kid's birthday is today. Yeah, I hope everybody realizes that if and when Max is on here, we do have to sing him happy birthday. Of course. And this time it can't be copyright striked, so. Yeah. That's old. That's like an old meme news thing. Come on. I mean, all of our memes are old. Let's be honest here. That's true. Cash, cash. North cash, Turtle North is. And shot B in the Johnny's chat, uh, Johnny's chat stream, right uh, asking, uh, "Goodness, quality their touchdown throw grenade that kills the cash?" Uh, nope, he can't because because the cash sp spawning uh, not at the same spot each time. So you, so you need to find the cash actually inside. You know that he, uh, the cash will, will be inside the same compound, but you don't know where exactly would it be. So you know the general area every time, but it's it's not going to be the exact same spot. And only SLs have the grenades that are needed, and they have limited amount. Yeah, uh, each SL got only two of them. Up the river. Well, anyways, uh, the all balance questions will be discussed after it. I, that's uh, actually first time somebody playing the that that game mode on <clears throat> that that particular layer. <clears throat> yeah, as Jenny would like to say, world first, world yeah. first. Yeah, yep, kind of world top. first. So balance issues is <clears throat> not not a big thing. It will be addressed in the next next version yeah, all right looks common. like catch me up boys looks like they they bottled through the the last two they were on the last two uh, uh points yep. here huh you guys are dying. Copy, 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 yep copy. they're on the last two objectives right now 
and uh, they're already complaining about balance, you know? Oh, jeez. <laughs> they tell the defenders need to be buffed. What do you think oh, about we'll that, see. Virus? What do you think? I don't know. It needs to be discussed, actually. I mean, you're you're arguably defense, going up defense, against... Defense. Thank you. We're building up. Well, you know, uh, may maybe I will agree with uh, that... I don't know, well, with that uh, defenders need to, to, to be able to spawn on each pair of objectives. Uh, so now they have a uh, forward spawns on the only first uh, first phase mm -hmm. objective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they're uh, guys telling that they after the first phase objectives are complete, uh, they can't make it in time. Uh, to the second second phase uh, bef before the attackers uh, are there. Gotcha, gotcha. Catnip Ninja 10, if you're still around, thanks for being here. And uh, yeah, squad's a great game. Copy. Down. Down. Three seventy five, eight seventy five. Yeah, this is the. If you, this is a rush game mode. Uh, you couldn't have two better teams than FFO and Mumbleweens moving at the speed of thought. Doc Hammer on the defense. Uh, very excited to see what Doc does next round. Well, actually, I think uh, defenders could just sit on the last objective and uh, super fobbing it and uh, denying the area with, with the three... Uh, three 14.5 millimeter guns could it could be a last a, an alamo custer's last stand here but ffo yep. getting on this last objective looks like or they're they're hunting for it it's not the last one or the second gotta, to last uh, the second to last and i don't know if they can find it i don't know if they found it here tucked away <laughs> this yeah. might be might be saving them here. Where's that gosh darn objective? <laughs> Actually, I w when I was placing those caches, I was I was just dropping them like crazy, you know, <laughs> just, uh, yeah, just totally random. This is a good one. This is a good spot. Well. It's not so, not so good for defenders, you know. Attacker oh, yeah. can, can get to the window and throw yep. an eight into the yep. window. Well, you got to protect it, you know. And then the other question is, I guess you can see it pretty good. Yeah. Oh, classified going in. Ah, he found it. FFO classified sweeping the compound, and now lots of pressure. Doc Hammer pushing off of the objective. I don't know if he's going to try to... <laughs> ah, yep, yep, he's going to try it. He's <laughs> definitely going to try it. And there's Omaha with the incineration. Right on top there, perfect. Perfect, right there. Doom 61971. How you doing there, Doom? Glad to have you here today. We're doing a brand new game mode... Uh, destruction and after this scrim I think we'll be going over to the total war side of things does that sound right boys yep give me, give, give me some oh, really nice maps yeah, to show you too main, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited no. okay last objective so this is it enemy destroyed the weapon catch 411 tickets United States Army Seems oh. unstoppable. Kudus Mrab just got I mean, lit up by Beater. Mr. Go live though. Oh, Mr. Gomez, 1998 boy says, "What server is this? This is a closed uh, server for this game mode. Are we gonna actually throw this game mode on the? Uh... Yes, Cody, they're gonna be pushing. Yes. Up for me. Okay, cool. So this is just the introduction match for it. Not the right south southeast. There's a. Yep, yeah, you are supposed to, uh, to be a scrim, I suppose. Yeah, that's what that's what this one is, I would assume, right? Yes. Enemy Raj coming to me. 
Mumble oh. reads. Connor adds Vaughn. Going to take away. Oh, Kudu. Oh, ho, ho. Gets inside just in time to blow up and die. Well, as I said, uh, guys, ja the def defenders just super fobbing the compound with the cash. They placed the f or have down there and just closing the all windows and doors with the Hesco walls. We'll, we'll see new strategies get developed as this gets played on. Oh, absolutely. Where is the cash? Oh, fuck, it's right here. God, man, dude. Oh, it's no. This is not okay, a good spot the for the cash. Are you fucking kidding me? Again, right by the windows. Fucking, uh, to put Tesco's right there. They need to almost build an indirect fire shelter yeah, right man. on top of it. Well, they can just actually just we place uh, right an another another Hesco yeah, wall right near those the windows, and uh, they will define it, I guess. Well, no, because the fact that the open roof here, yeah. they could just underhand a nade right on right over into the compound, and then it's yeah, over. but for, uh, yeah, but for that they yeah, need the to know the that yep. exact yeah, spot. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. The randomness certainly adds to it. We need to start ripping their tickets. They're so, so fucking high annoying because you right have now. to defend against someone like throwing a grenade. How do you do that? Yeah. Honestly, we should just have like everyone go squad lead next game. Ah! <laughs> Literally, dude. I think what Doc's office is like. Everyone just be squad lead next game. <laughs> because then everybody can blow up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard that. That's funny. We need shit to build. Oh shit, goddamn, you scared me. Yeah, my bad, so it's a bug. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> it's a sea of incendiary grenades there. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna yeah, feel CPS. Yeah, so, can you actually build sure. on top of the cache, or is that like There's a no build, build, build area? Right here, guys. Uh. uh Actually, I don't know the big because uh, the, those caches are pretty much default ones, okay. uh, the vanilla ones caches. So okay. I guess if you can't place uh, something up on up on the default caches, so you you won't be able to place something okay. up on these caches. Yeah, they need an indirect fire shelter on top of that thing. This is the kind of thing where I would just randomly toss an incendiary grenade in there. And just oh, but believe me, there is a too many spots uh, down there in, the, yeah. in those campos. If I saw, if I saw a super fob though, Roger. just randomly throw it. Do you, well, how many? How many do you get? Do you get two as a squad lead? Two. You get two yep. incendiary grenades. Yeah. And uh, by the way, round timer here is only one hour. Oh, that's good too. Okay, so. Man, so Russia could actually win just by waiting out the clock. Yep, you you can you can just uh, sit, uh, <clears throat> hunker down in the defense, and just just wait. And uh, uh, when when time will be will be expired, th that's all you you won you you won the match if you defender. So that is kind of a big buff for the defense, is that they they can just wait out the game and win. Well, yeah. And we well, do hear... I... Oh, go ahead there, Virus. I guess I will need uh, actually to decrease starting tickets for 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 the attackers because they got too too much of them, actually. They pushed di directly to the la last phase objectives and they got a, oh, a, three, a 354 and they start with a 350, you know. Yeah. Well, the I, other thing to remember is this just one game. Like you need yeah. to. Yeah, okay. yeah, but I need, yeah, but of course I I need more data. I need more statistics. Yolanda on YouTube, good to see you, Yolanda. What's the new game mode? Says Flamis. It is called Destroy, and what it is is uh, it's it's a it's basically invasion and insurgency meshed together. Yeah. So what happens was it's two bomb sites or two cache weapon caches are spawned and then two more weapon caches are spawned and then two more weapon caches are spawned and there's an hour to blow them all up. So you got to defend, you got to attack, it's quick. And it is it's brutal. Yeah, but it feels like more much more action packed. Big time. Big time. Now I'm sorry I had to step away there. I got to some fatherly responsibilities. Appreciate you sticking with me here, guys. But 
Mumble Reen's pushing up. And again, we're actually, I mean, these are top tier squad players that are actually in their element right now. The ability to rush and uh, I don't think there, there are better teams on the planet that can move faster than Mumble Reen's FFO, Doc's Office. Well, yeah, but actually, I I know no wonder that uh, attackers just uh, rushed to the yep. to that to that stage because they got a full squad of Mumblerins yep. led by led by Nordic. <laughs> yeah, they got exactly. a full squad of F uh, two squads of FFOs <laughs> who, who, who just uh, lit literally can fuck shit up. Boom! Just zip in, zip out. Bing bang boom. Begin a moving in. Bill Nye, the science guy here, and Russia responding back with that heavy caliber machine gun, the 14.5 millimeter atop this BTR noodle, pulling back to the vehicle repair station. Oh, but he goes oh. out before he's able to get there. Mumble Reen's Connor and so AZ Vaughn. Wonder with those insider strats. Staying in there. Whoop, wrong chat. <laughs> I was about to say. What? Doesn't really matter about tickets. Uh, seven eighty-six to three forty-five. U.S. still plenty of tickets to make something happen here. The other scary thing on this mode, if mortars are enabled here, you could really do some damage. Yep, mortars are enabled. South is south is spicy. Oh boy, Sergeant Banana trying to bring in a Lodgy, but there's FFO waiting for him. Omaha, Tia Matt driving right on by. They're laying low. Shot B says disable mortars, please. <laughs> Oh, Why man. Would I, do that? I love mortars, you know? <laughs> I know, we love mortars. Zaki in chat. Zaki, great to see you. And Southern Rogue saying, FFO Lats doing work? I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone. This is an interesting part of the map that I, I don't really think gets a lot of play here. Yeah, I don't... Is there ever been a point on this? I don't think uh, so. Uh, well, on it's, the... Uh, I think on the Chora Pass... Uh, yeah. Parallel, parallel S, there is a point here on the, on top of that mosque. This is a nice... This is a nice place. I like the, I like the mosque model, though. I think it's a nice... <clears throat> kind of... Place to fight. Air medic flying around right now, possibly doing some flight sim, some X-Plane 11. Air medic, our resident expert. Uh, if these guys, I hope that FFO and Mumble Reens do not get mortars up, because if they do, it's going to be a freaking massacre. Well, um... Uh... Problems, so uh, pro problem for the attackers here on this stage, I think, uh, I get, will be the logistics length, uh, logistic path length. You, you know, it's a uh, pretty much other side of the map. Oh, yeah. From their main base. Yeah. It's really interesting. The further the attackers go, the easier it is for the defenders to defend. Yeah, of course. Iron Taxi himself in what's the game mode called? Destruction. And Taxi, uh, what it is, is two weapon caches spawn, and then uh, they are taken, and then two more weapon caches spawn, and they're taken. Two more weapon caches spawn. We're on the last one. We've got great teams, uh, Mumble Reens, FFO, Doc's Office. And we're on the last stand with the last cache. 325 tickets remaining for United States, 750 for Russia. And that is right, PCAT 101 in the chat. Ladies and gentlemen, legendary squad streamer, PCAT101. If you don't already 
Oh man, Bill Nye moving in. Oh, he wants it blown up. He goes right in. Bill Nye. He wiggle worms his way through, and he's inside. Bill Nye. Oh, Spot gets him at the bandage. They're gonna be pushing uh, west, northwest, northwest markers. And now Moose doing the dangle to get in here. Moose takes out, and oh no, Andrew twenty seven nabs Moose. Such a bill maneuver. <laughs> That's right, Iron Taxi saying great work to the creator. That's you, Virus. Yep, I already thank him for for you. Uh, I'm a very appreciated. Yeah, oh. Lots, lots oh. going on here. Lo looks, looks like uh, that MTLB gonna camp the U U.S. FOB in the middle of the river. If you, if you, if you will find it. Oh. Let's see what happens here. Oh nope. no! Taken down, Chandler blown up. Yeah, before he even realized where where the shot came from. Was that Copper River? Looks like he's got that poster tube on his back. Yep, Copper River with the law. It was a cup river and FFO Tucci. Oh, Tucci. Double lat, double trouble. Those two hits making a short work of that MTLB. Oh, oh. Iron Taxi in chat. One thing we really need, new game modes. We have a lot of maps coming. And PCAT 101, Iron Taxi with the leaks. And I was trying to say, PCAT101, legendary squad streamer, uh, make sure you are clicking on his name and following and subscribing and doing all those great things. Wow! These boys getting on top here. <laughs> Fish in a barrel! I almost want there to be like uh, fake caches that you can build or something. That'd be pretty cool to throw people off. And there it is, Bill oh. Nye pops the last one. Yeah, but I think I definitely need to nerf tickets. <laughs> but <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. see. Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. And there it is, US wins. Hey. Iron Taxi postscriptum as its first mass test today as well. I'm excited for postscriptum. I would love to be a part of any streaming stuff for that iron. You just Most write me down for that. Post scripting is awesome. It's oh my god, I want to do it like a 1940s radio show, man. It's gonna I give me access to that. Somebody. I well that before. Uh, I know it's gonna be amazing. It's gotta be the amazing. It's Atlantic uh voice there. That's right. It's gonna be what is it? It's gonna be like uh I forget how I do it. I gotta do this. The man on the radio. Wait, no, it's, it's this one. The man, the man on the radio. <laughs> well, it's postscriptum with Johnny Omaha. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> but right now we're broadcasting of a world first of the new destroy game mode. Destruction. Destruction game mode. And that's how that works. It's gonna be <laughs> gonna be awesome. Oh my god. Yeah, it's awesome. So now okay. we're flipping teams here. Yeah, but I'm actually very interested how how it will come uh, outcome here uh, with the teams flipped. This is gonna be great. Callzy on YouTube squad stream, you know it. We will never forget squad. But I mean, hey, if there's some, that's right. Iron Taxi, I got the ads for cigarettes. It's uh, I've been I've been pruning my collection for a while, and I got some music. It's gonna be good. Just PM me a key, man. Let's let's make it happen. Sorry, I needed time to talk to. My my adoring fans, uh, but no, the real the real thing we're talking about. I'm sorry to get distracted with postscriptum. It is exciting, but not as exciting as destroy, which is the new game mode here from Virus World First. We just saw Mumblereens and FFO as the United States uh, push through 
And uh, what a great opening game. And uh, very excited to see here. So this is this is the startup here that we see the two caches. They are randomly. Uh, I, I love this positioning virus that you did. You kind of like mark a compound, which I really like that because in normal insurgency, you kind of get a, a, a classified information mark and it's like anywhere in the grid around it. So if, if the mark is here, you've got a sector 300 meters to go around that point. Well, actually, in the regular insurgency, it's about uh, maybe 100 or 150 meters Is around. It? The, yeah, uh, I uh, when I was uh, developing this game mode, I uh, totally, totally investigated uh, how the insurgency game mode works, and uh, it's oh, about oh, oh, so 150 oh. meters ar around the marker. Interesting. Well, that's good to know. Free fall gaming, free falling gaming. Is this like Rush? That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. But uh, if Rush is trademarked in any way, shape, or form, then that's not exactly what it is. So, just saying. Yep. Yeah. Let's <laughs> call it Rush with the squad flavor. Rush squad flavor. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's destruction. I mean, it's, it's even in the title. It's destruction. Scrush. Scrush is what it should be called. Scrush. Scrush. Squash. Oh Squash. Crush. Try winner 97 up in here. Well, for squad. It's a world first for squad. We'll say that. All right, well, here we go. All right. FFO here. On the defense, something that not normally these two teams find themselves on. They are the aggressors. They are not the defenders. And here are the Matt V in a full transport with Doc Hammer himself at the wheel. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Already starting to take shots. Yep. The boy's hopping out. What? Why the hell are they doing it? <laughs> oh, sh oh, damn. That's a meat, that's yeah, a meat, sure meat grinder, literally. In. Full infantry truck. Full infantry truck. Lots of down bodies, but the medics are doing some work here. Elite Lurker says can't copyright game design elements. Yeah, just just tell Fortnite. <laughs> they're thinking they're like I'll never existed in yeah, PUBG. They're, yeah. they're they're thanking their lucky stars. They're like, we could just do what? Okay. They're getting into Musk. South side. And it looks like the dock team ju uh, just trying to push the single objective with the wall team. Or. And they're getting behind. Do they? Yep. They got way behind. And almost uh -huh. overshot it a little bit. A little Looks looks like I I know what they what they're trying to do. What's that? Uh, looks like they learned uh, where uh, where the caches uh, possibly will spawn. Uh, I mean the area. Oh yeah. Uh, they uh, and I think they wanted to try to place a fob uh, near the next objective, yes. so they can just spawn literally yep. instantly there when they to when we will take the first ones. Well, that's but yeah, but but for them, uh, I have uh, I have that card. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make impossible to place fobs deep behind the defense lines. Oh man, well this will be this will be the time to figure it out. East Poppy Farm Reaper welcomes. Uh, welcome, welcome. Nom nom no met no met C. Uh, oh, nom, 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 etc. That's what. It is. <laughs> That's right. So this will be interesting. Uh, the thing is, though, is it's pulling a lot of resources off of the objective. So, I mean, I don't know. Virus, is this something you want? I mean, this is you got a couple guys that have got to do some serious work. Meanwhile, can Doc get on? They're moving in through Mosque, but they're getting stopped along the way. 
So the rogue, oh. that's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out. Mm, I don't know why why they're trying to sit in that uh, mosque uh, compound. They're just trying to distract the enemy, I think. Oh, could be. Yeah, let him know. Canada Bone and Chandler moving in. Oh, no, but they don't. They're going the other way. Canada sniped out of the yeah. turret. Need a little more protection of that yeah, turret. Of yeah, a lot of assets behind enemy lines here. Hmm. Att attackers just uh, took the uh, crow M rap uh, just now, you know. Oh, and it already got marked by by a grenade launcher with the blue smoke. Oh no! <clears throat> and that's strange that all defenders uh, they're just spawn uh, spawned here uh, on the four spawns, and uh, they are living up on the rallies. No Literally nobody uh, spawned on the main base. Nobody took the large truck or uh, BTR or something. Okay, that's strange. Oh wow! Yeah, everything's back at main. And US looks like they're gonna rip this this hab here, but they want they're out for blood now. They know that they can bleed tickets. Uh, but it's not going to do him much good because Russia's got 968. Sergeant Banana covering this. Oh, looks like attackers found, found the cache. Yep, they found the cache. Oh, and Doc Hammer is about to plant. Yep. And Cinder goes up on the cache. Snap, crackle, pop. Glow beatbox, thanks for the host. And kaboom, kaboom. US gets the first one. And lots double down on that defense here. Way, the river. way to the north. Zero G and Noodle here. Sick 42. Did the attacking team get tickets for destroying the cache? Yes. Yep. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Every squad make sure to have like a backup rally too. Oh, Kalsy. Uh, Is it 50 tickets? Yep, yeah, it's 50 tickets per cash. Okay. We should make it 42 so that way it matches 642's screen name. Hey, could be fun. Set up for the next, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kalsy says, can you use an Xbox controller on squad? I do it, but I'm not doing it. I think can. you, I think you I, can, yeah. I, I know some people who do. I just highly would not recommend it. Map coming up behind their rally points. It's over top. Unless, oh, unless you're not ready for keyboard and mouse or there's something blocking you from doing so. Yeah, the biggest that problem is there isn't enough buttons on the Xbox controller. That's, that's true. Kevin, CIO, how does this mode work? Kevin, great question. This is the, is it destroy or destruction or what's the official name? D destruction. Destruction. All right, cool. So. <laughs> yep, yep. Right, right, uh, right. Distraction. <laughs> Distraction. <laughs> so there's six total weapon caches or supply caches that are going to spawn in pairs of two. And it's first two, and then the second two spawn mid map, and then the last two spawn in the back. All right, so I took Logi from main with one of my guys. I'll get Rally and Fava. So. He's going to be cool. Kalsy says, thank you. Buying it right now. In about an hour, we can play together. Well, Kalsy, congratulations. Welcome to the squad family. I promise you're going to have a good time. One of the best gameplay experiences, I think, of all time. 40v40. Right now, we are only at uh, 20, 
Seven, 26 versus 26, 24 v 24, right around there. So half filled server. Kevin CAO, sounds like a better version of Insurgency. I'll tell you, it's a lot faster pace. That's very likely. Try winner 97 says, squad is definitely a 10 out of 10. Try winner 97 game. Tucci. Okay. So we can already start to see these are the two, or there's these are three, four teams that are probably the most squad analytical minds I think there there is, and we can already hear them talking about strategy, like don't even worry about the the f two points, like. Don't even worry about one of those points. Just let them have one, and then you super fob the other point. Is what they're already saying. Well, of course you can super fob one of the points, but thing is that you can do it with the, or, or you can hardly can do it with the first ones because it's too far away from your main base. Yeah. FFO Scarface getting on top. Here of the U.S. FOB. Scarface pulling back instead to possibly provide intel or wait for some other people. Don't know what Scarface is. Oh, he sees Telemon and Art of War. Maybe he he knew the spawn tickets were going to be going down or the tick ticks are going to go. Uh, the spawn timer is going to go up. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Get it out. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Jetski gets Scarface from the uh, the south there. Or the north. No, the south. Well, all attackers are kind of scattered all, all, all over the map. And defenders are very, very grouped mm -hmm. around, around the objective. Yeah, they're setting up. You can even see this Lodgy going way. They're just, they're trying to get everything set up for the domino. They're setting up the dominoes. Well, yeah, but they, <laughs> they will need to do the f f first one too. Yep, yep. And uh, with the time limit in mind, uh, they they could run out, run out of time, you know? Absolutely. Chandler and Noodle here with the Crow, Matt V. Chandler on the gun, Noodle as the driver. Johnny Hall up in chat. Good to see you, Johnny Hall. Thanks for being here tonight. One hit. And that is two. Hey guys, they're already setting up fobs around the next objectives. We hear a lot of trucks south, southwest of us. You know, the funny hey, thing, I just realized that I didn't test what happens so if the match, ta uh, match timer is uh, expiring. Like, oh. I, th uh, I think it should digs. work uh, normally, so Russian Russian team will, will be victorious. Okay. But I actually not so sure, 100% uh, sure. We could always admin and match. I don't worry too much about that. I already tested it and it ended perfectly fine with both uh, win and time limits. So. Oh, good. Way to be the QA of QA here, Rocode. Man, anybody need a badass QA tester? Because I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. <laughs> 
Johnny Hall giving a shout out to Axton. And the Roco. Odie takes down FFO Omaha. Doc Hammer. Isn't that FFO Omaha your relative or something? Ah! I mean, he's you your know, brother? Yeah, he's a long lost brother. Yep. Uh, Omaha's great. I like him a lot. Radio near our rail. My squad's going to come in our Lodgy truck and try to secure that. Oh, Nordic is down. I love your Try backpack. To... Oh, wow. Doc Hammer, the, the two squad yes. leads. Doc Hammer drop shots backpack perfectly. Uh, this little little cardboard cutout waiting for backpack's head. It's like when you take a photograph and you have to put your head through the window. You're like, cheese. <laughs> That's what that was. Doc Hammer though passing up this 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 uh, fob here. Callsy says it's uh, says my game is going to take two hours to download. Callsy, I'll send you some of my internet. <laughs> uh, yes, Callsy, I would highly recommend having a microphone to play the game. Very much a teamwork uh, oriented game. If you don't have a mic, at least listen. Um, and, and just tell people I don't have a mic, but I'm willing to listen, or I'll do whatever you tell me to, and you can kind of do, like, the yes and the no or whatever, but you just, just always just go yes. <laughs> Tucci with some great long-range, medium-range stuff here versus oh. uh, Hammer. And Russians found uh, U U.S. FOB on the on north that clo that close to the cache and are working on their moon. Hey, we're taking a radio. <laughs> it's actually on. They the just literally r ran into it on the on the transfer truck. There it is. Sniper Yan. How neat is that? I got a bandage. Yep, one digging and, se and second guy covering him with a grenade launcher. Oh wow, Sniper Yan. He's trying to dig. He's got a few more stacks, 420. Oh, oh tries to dig. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, Nade saves the day. Last one got me. Dogman going to clean up the mess. No, nope. oh my God, from behind. Don't panic. That, my frag's are organic. That's a lot of a nickname. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a good one. It's a good one. They save the had the fob rather. Oh, I think I hear the mortars. Yep. Uh-oh. Yep. Mortar fob in uh, possibly orchard. No, where are the mortars? It's uh, attack on mortars. Oh, whoa. Cub the Man one. Is this public for people to join? We will be playing this again on... Is it Total War Modded, Rocode? Total War Modded, yes. Total War Modded. We're going to be bouncing over to that server right after this debut match here of the Destruction game mode. And Modded. we are currently playing new maps on that server right now. If you and there are some new maps as well. No, it was outside. Last time we checked. It might be and then, uh, is this crew going to be moving over to the uh, to the Total War modded server when this is done as well? Yes, we should have a pretty full server. Oh wow! So these mortars. 
they are just sh sh shooting in the compound. Shooting. Where... Oh, you know what? They're trying to get at this hab. But, uh -huh. but it is not. It is missing. Hewis, that is correct. We got new maps. New maps go to squadmodweekly.com. Squadmodweekly.com. You can download them and join. Johnny Hall says, Row Code, can you briefly answer my map question on the stream? What oh. is the destruction game mode? Virus, why don't you take that one? Oh, you no, you, you take one. Okay. Well, the destruction game mode starts off with two caches on the forward-facing side of the map. The map is kind of uh, separated into front, middle, and rear. And uh, the two caches spawn in the front. The attackers take those. They've got an hour to do it. Uh, they've got an hour to win the entire match, rather. So they have to take two in the front, then two in the mid, and then two in the back. And then that is the destruction game mode. Oh, and then Johnny Hall's saying, Rocode, could you, uh, the giant maps with the war style gameplay? I think we see that in games like Foxhole. Yeah, where you've got a bunch no, of maps. And, uh, Red Orchestra, et cetera. That oh, Red Orchestra also. Uh, it was a mod of working on something like that, but it's a pretty long way off. It's a lot of work. Yeah, but it's a lot of work, and you you need to control the map map list actually from the mod. I oh, yeah. doubt I doubt that possible right now actually. We'll talk later. There's a there's a method he's using that's pretty neat. Oh, looks like there's some mod action, some secret mod stuff that might be able to make that happen. I love it. And for any virtual passengers flying on Air Medic Airlines, welcome to Miami. Where Medic is playing uh, some flight sim right now. Eight sixty four to two forty six and forty minutes remaining, give or take thirty seconds. I'm gonna quick. We got a birthday sleepover that's gonna be happening here today. I'm gonna quick just set up here. I'll be right back in thirty seconds. Looks like B <coughs> cavalry coming. Two beaters uh, in the middle of the map. Moving fast. gaming uh win will be determined by uh by a time mm, if uh, if no if no objectives uh, will be destroyed uh, then w winning team will be uh, will be the defenders and if attackers will manage to destroy all objectives uh, they will win it's That's... just a great it's just a great game mode virus i love that the game is an hour long so just that one change alone. All the action, very intense. You immediately get in the action. This is a very good game mode. Like this, and if this is just the start of it, I can't wait to see where it goes from here. 
Speaking of the action, uh, look, look at those two BTRs moving in. Oh man. Let's see where. <laughs> we'll have to check that in a second here. Oh my god, Doc Hammer drives right on top of. Oh my gosh. Art of War. Cub, no new news at this time. Oh, Cubman asking about territory control and row code. You're saying no new news at this time for territory control. I I'm also have no news. news. I have no news. There is no news. There is no no new news. No new news. No no new no, new no, news. No no new news. No 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 no. Just no or just no news. Just no news. Just no. So that's a no. It's on the news. On. That's a no on the it's, news. It's the no on the news. Yes okay. on the no for the no for the news. Yes on the no for the no for the news. By the way, Axton, I could use something from the territory control. Actually, now you'll get it eventually. Oh, get on that. Oh, got it, got it. I just need a way to draw custom things on the map. You know. That's <laughs> if we dig it and then we run away back to our side yep. and then blast yep. and come back. back to, there we go. FFO, coming, they're definitely coming. Using this as bait. They're baiting them. Sit on it like this. I'm, I'm, going, for I'm going for the fob. I'm going for the fob. Look, those two BTRs on the north or the northern side of the map. <laughs> Looks like they gonna shred that this fob oh jeez at, at least i think i think they will do yep they're shredding it oh, 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 oh my god daka 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 more daka daka intensifies you're taking the radio out now that uh, is a, a way to get some digs in. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Solid rider. That's some little friendly fire attempt at the scar, at the scar face from those BTRs. Keep pulling that directional push, I guess. So 188, but they get a massive ticket boost if they can get this. And oh, it looks like they're getting closer and closer. Soul Reaver getting in. Blown up. Yep, Thanks. they're getting closer, but here the defenders got lucky. Uh, the cash spawned inside that building. It, uh, there is at, at least, I think, four, three or four spawn points uh, for the caches outside here, mm -hmm. in, uh, right in the yard. Mm -hmm. But they got lucky. Yeah, Ace pushing this rally right here. As he gets close, that rally disappears, and there it goes. Oh, man. Yeah, they got lucky. I don't think FFO and Mumble Reads could have gotten a better first spawn on this... Cash. Oh, 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 oh man. Getting into insurgent checkpoint, which is the traditional name of this, this compound here. Air Medic's going to be doing another run on his uh, X-Plane. Good luck, Air Medic. Fly safe. Make sure uh, I get TSA pre-check. Pretty good kills across the board. 144 for Russia, 136 for United States, 28 revives to 39 revives. Yep, actually, <clears throat> very close. That's, uh, yeah, but it's pretty close. 
I, wa I wonder why U.S. not o o over killing the Russians. Mm -hmm. Those optics, you know. Somebody mentioned previously that Korra was a, a great uh, introduction map to do this game mode. And I would agree. I think Korra's got a lot of great little compounds, great walls. Yeah, but it's great for the infantry gameplay. Right. Hey, there's still enemy north <laughs> and actually, there. uh, right now, it's coming. horrible for the vehicles because <laughs> all the, those fucking low walls. Uh, yes, yes. You can just blow up uh, eight ticket uh, worth uh, truck right uh, in the middle of the, the bridge. Is uh, yeah, and the bridge is blocked. I want my I want my diggable uh, Rex. I want my diggable vehicle Rex. I want to right click a vehicle wreck for like a minute. Cough, cough, sapper glass, cough, cough. Sapper glass. That's right. They get a rocket power shovel, what? and. Those and their shotguns. Well, you also got tagged. Sorry. Yeah, speaking uh, of the shotguns, uh, I I think it's on the cash model. I think, but we do have shotgun shells somewhere. Oh, uh, I see him. Copper, you on the roof? Yep. Yeah. Right in the inside inside of the cash. There they are. Two of them. All two. Oh. It's more like a hint, okay? It's more like a tease. It's just a tease. Couple shotgun really shells. We have nothing that will shoot them. Yeah, Somebody just had them in their pocket. Oh, Duck no, Hammer rushing with his transport truck oh. on the river. And. That's gonna be wrong. Very wrong. Oh man, Doc Hammer gets waxed by Ace Hardcastle. In the river, getting out the place, guys. Doc yeah, Hammer trying to get another uh, fob down. Well, I just had it back. Yeah, he supplied. The radio's on the point. Well, I think attackers not using their advantage of the optics and the crow vehicles. They got so the, two crow, crow, crow vehicles, uh, crow that, uh, MRAPs on the main were, base, so they and they don't, just it. don't use any. I think they're worried about tickets. Well, MRAP costs, I don't know, 16 tickets maybe? And they got a 150. They got to lose 10 mm -hmm. to, to lose, so... With how quick and how responsive FFO and Mumble Reens would be, though, I, I don't know. I can't fault them for not bringing vehicles out. They Their shelf life <laughs> on the battlefield with, with these guys running double lats. Southern Rogue says it's a parking lot in USA Main Base. Cubs Man 1. Likely it's Russian, not insurgents. IEDs would have been everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a lot of potential for different uh, configurations with this game mode. Yep. I, it's, yep, you're right. It's just intense. It's fast. It would be a perfect uh, hour game of squad. Uh, there's objectives like you know what you need to do. It's clear. I mean... The one thing, I mean, it doesn't tell you exactly where the cache is, but that's where you got to use your brain, you know? Well, not only you got to use your brain, you got to use your microphone to communicate with that's others. Right. And that's right. And make a team effort. Well, of course, I know some guys who, who can just... Go the uh, go in the field and kill twenty guys uh, solo by hiding in, in the uh, in the in the bushes and oh, yeah. fighting. It's kind of the Terminator boys. <laughs> we even got got some um, got got some boys like like that in, in our clan. But <clears throat> Nordic, I mean, Mumbleweens are here. Nordic is very very uh, active in bushes. He has a yep. bush meta.
but gen but generally uh, one guy can do anything uh, in the in the game in that game. At least not for long. 140 tickets. Well, attackers, attackers definitely need to regroup and push, make a one st uh, strong push. Um, is that me or that M Rap just didn't wreck the two RPG hits? No, good question. Well, for me, it's not displaying its health, so looks like not not wrecked. Oh, I am not sure this uh, crows one. Uh, yep. They may have a special weapon. An invincible MRAP. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. That's right, Metal <laughs> Gear. This is beautiful. Oh, really? Just took two heat RPG rounds and it's it didn't blow up. Copper River's checking it. Checking the oil. Fall that under the bug category. <laughs> it's like it's not even smoking. Timberman, thanks for the host. It's 24 minutes. That's right. Gotta make a play. This is intense. This is intense. Oh, we're hearing some mortars. That fall marker is accurate as fuck. Oh, man. It's a, a, a decker mortar. Once again, same one. Noodle on the, the mortar. Nice mortar spot. Oh, first mortar just blew up something. I think they mortared their Lodgy. <laughs> So they yeah. get their Lodgy back. Oh! Good kill. Mumble Reens goes down. One of the Mumbles goes down. If they can clear a hole with these mortars... Well, actually, mortars are useless without infantry trying to yep. push. Yep. The line, you can see it drawn in the sand I here. Some big flanks right now. Stacks 420. Fuck did he go? I don't know, I had a lot day, but I don't see a body. 8 to 1 tickets, yeah. In the room, in the room. Oh. 
Oh, Bowman Canadian. with the perfect Canadian O. Oh. oh. <laughs> they were looking for him. Yeah, been that oh, I found you. <laughs> and obliterated. I got him. Oh, <laughs> oh, I heard your dirty bandage. Theo, can you pick up a uh, ghost? I can't get him. The Yuri Hunter, which mod are we doing? Go to squadmodweekly.com, Yuri Hunter. Squadmodweekly.com. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. Yo, yo Bowman, okay, see if you can pin it to you. See if you can pin it to you. Thank okay. you, Rocode, for posting that link. And then those are the mods. You just got to download those. I think there's four this week. Is that right, Rocode? Yes. Although one is just a backup. One's kind of a backup. Yep. Yeah. Yep, you just click all four. Yep, subscribe to all. Otherwise, it won't let you in the server. Sixty three tickets, twenty minutes left. FFO Mumblereen's getting exceptionally lucky with this spawn. This is like a god spawn here. Well, yeah, but no one of attackers even made made there uh, to that uh, to the even to the yard, you know. Yep. <laughs> so it uh, doesn't matter. Cub the man once has never used a squad mod kit before, and I would like to make some cool maps. Any tips the devs can give? Great question there, Cub. Let's ask maybe Axton. Axton, any tips for the squad development kit? If you're still in the room. Uh, I'll take this one because right. I believe they're uh, currently working on something else right now. All right. Uh I've written a lot of guides on how to get into modding with the Squad SDK, and I just linked to that. So that's a great one to use. So that right there, start there, and the tips, the tips are a plenty. Actually, main tips are download the SDK, join the modding uh, modding hub Discord. Ask people for questions. Uh, they, we'll look at the tutorials uh, for, on the Unreal Engine. That's all. So Google's your friend. Yep, definitely. Because uh, mm, for the most part, squ Squad's SDK is a regu regu regular uh, Unreal 4 editor. Yep. Uh, and you use uh, all the tools uh, except uh, C++ coding uh, f in, in in that SDK. Yeah, the, the blueprints. The blueprints. Yeah, the are blueprints. Pretty nice too. Yeah. Uh, of course, that uh, that game mode that the guys are playing right now it's uh, made completely of the blueprints on top of the squad framework. Yeah, very powerful stuff. So here we are, we can create a brand new game mode just with that blueprints. Midwest Mofo, thanks for the follow. Midwest is best, represent. Uh, Yuri Hunter says server name and password, if any, row code. It's just Total War modded. Yep, and no there password. should be no password. Yep. Got a good forty people playing right now on uh, this inventory. Oh wow! Okay. I'm excited to look at some of these uh, the the new maps here this week. I hope we can stream it all. We should be good. I chose small maps just for that reason. Oh, wonderful. No, this is a scrim uh, on a private server for this new game mode, and then we'll switch over to uh, the public server. That's right. We'll do the two maps, and then we'll just leave that that public server up, and then you guys can play this brand new destruction game mode. From what I understand, is that correct? Yeah. Wonderful.
Man, Doc getting rebuffed at nearly every turn. Well, look look at this. We got a 30, 24 tickets and the attackers trying to do something. Here they come in, Thick Kevin. Oh, driving the Mad V right in there. Thick Kevin, oh no, grenaded. And Minty taking down some great uh, Bill Nye the Science guy with a good flank here. Now Here's the Mad comes V. Alagi. Here's a Lodgy. Boop, boop. Oh no, Bill Nye has a, has a dead to rights. Seref, I am in the Cornhusker state. I do indeed live in Nebraska. And thanks for the follow. And that was that was it. The swan song for United States. 20 tickets left. Great map, great introduction for the destruction game mode. Nom, 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 etc. New squad strats. Absolutely, new squad strats. <laughs> Red Falcon, give me V10 or give me death. George Washington, 1776. <laughs> well, Red, hope to see you in here. Believe it or not, these um, squad mod weekly events are what's getting me through my V10 withdrawal. Withdrawal, I guess would be the best best way. Keep hunger for V10. The hunger, yes. Because I'll tell you, this this modding stuff, I mean, playing a new game mode, playing new maps. Minty. With the <laughs> Defen map. Yeah, defenders are actually spread out, like, everywhere. Oh! Oh! Look, looks like I... <laughs> Minus five tickets, you know? Oh! <laughs> yep, yep, that's a bug. All right. I think it's a... Uh... GG. Yep, yep, go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, end match. There it is. Yeah, well, uh, didn't test <laughs> that, that <laughs> one. I'm going to fix it. Well, that's part of it, right? These are, these are brand new, and I mean... Virus, you're not making money doing this stuff. You're doing this for the love of the game, which is pretty amazing. Yep. Actually, uh, there were guys who do who proposed me money for doing this, but I refused, actually. Oh, man. Well, you know, hey, if somebody's going to pay you. Uh, do you have a donation link or do you have anything? Or uh, where's the best no. place that people can uh, watch your stuff or just subscribe to your stuff on Steam? Yep, uh, on, only subscribe to, to my stuff on Steam, okay. but uh, actually th that's the first one, uh, first piece that I pushed to, uh, to the Steam Workshop now. Well, your next one's going to be, this is going to be a tough first act to follow, I'll tell you that. Well, uh, actually, uh, technically my first uh, thing to, that, I, uh, that I did was the uh, those amphibious BTRs uh, for the Battle for Scorpio, you know? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Which were amazing. Yeah, this it's it's pretty amazing. Well, I think we're gonna bounce this server, and we're gonna go over to the open play, where we are mid round. We're mid round. Also, thanks to Red Falcon and Nom 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 etc. for your follows. We appreciate it. Uh, as a note on this uh, Nets map, Johnny, you may need to change your AA to FSA because there's a flickering issue with uh, high settings. Oh, okay. I don't use any AA. Is that going to oh, be an issue? You'll be, no, you'll be okay. fine then. All right. Total war modded. This is going to be full. That's what we're hoping. Holy cow. Looks like there's possibly a level GG event happening too right now so check out level gg if you like squad stuff oh man what's this silver aas v1 infantry map 
United States versus Russia, and it's this valley and mountains, and oh man, let's get right into this. Elite Lurker says, hey guys, I'm the map author of uh, Silver. Am I saying it right? It's silver, not Sliver, right? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I got the flick drink. You have to change your AA. Well, Lurker, do you want to get in here in the mod? Is Lurker in here? I, I'm, I'm working on it now. Oh, wonderful. This is awesome. Damn, this looks nice. Oh, wow. You know, I thought the Kokora or Kohat uh, makes it uh, to uh, to the Afghanistan feeling, you know. But this, this, that's this is this is over the top. Wow. Oh my gosh. Red Falcon says map looks sweet. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. Damn, I want to play it. Yeah. yeah. PCAT101 says, this map is gorgeous. And Carta says, this map is real good. Seraph says, who needs Mestia when you got this stuff? I dig the beacons of Gondor. Yeah, it definitely has that beacons of Gondor. And Carta, I love it. Wow. Oh, the beacons, yeah, up here, the, the light the beacons, light the way. Small, but the topography is deceptive. Yes, it is, it feels very layered, very nuanced. And I'm trying going to go slow so that we can really capture some of the essence. Look at that, it's going to be a fun little area to poke and hide and... Feels like a real farm. Let's see some of these point names. South Poppy Farm, Hotel, uh, South Air Dry, South Farm, Mech Shop, Almond Farm. Lots of farms. And you can see here, too, that, man, there's all this other tease. I'm getting teased with all this other playable space someday here. Oh, yeah. He's so, resolving some audio issues. He'll be in shortly. Okay, wonderful. So here we are at the poppy farm, and I love the way that this is separated into sections. It kind of has a Tog Sarai feel to it, but it's much bigger. Like, there's this main compound here, so you get some indoor play, you get some outdoor play. Little little palace meets Tog Sarai. Let's and go in. welcome Elite Looker. And there he is, Elite Lurker. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having me and posting the map. Sweet. Oh, man. This map looks amazing, Lurker. Yeah, thanks. I spent a fair bit of time on it, uh, optimizing the textures and stuff, um, just tinting it all right. How many time you worked on that? Uh, I don't want to say. I think it's around six, 700 hours, I oh. think. Oh, my gosh. That is a, this, it is shows though. Like immediately you walk in and it is the polish that I see on this map is unprecedented. I mean, we've seen it a few other places, forest air, et cetera. Yeah, some, uh, yeah. Incredible maps out there to compete with at the moment. And uh, it's uh, what, uh... really good because the squad assets are really nice to work with. So it's, it's been quite easy really. Wow. Why the Russian team use the green camo though? Well, I'll tell you, with all this vegetation that I'm seeing, tenderly it looks like hand planted. It it just you stop and you look at. I can't believe how natural it all looks. It 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 just it's perfect. The yeah. the trees and the rocky crag and it's unbelievable. What we saw with uh, Kohat Wasteland is that the green camo actually works better, uh, and so it's a nice little interesting dynamic with the vegetation and everything. 
and uh, my choice with the, with the squads was the most balanced gameplay uh, for testing. And uh, the foliage took a long time to get right, and I, in fact, lost all the foliage at one stage, so I had to redo the majority of it. No way, and, Lurker! Well, I think that actually adds, if you ever rebuild something, you always make it a lot better than originally. And, yeah. Like, for instance, uh, Half-Life, the game was originally called Gunman or something silly, and it was a terrible game, and they remade it in six or nine months and came out as Half-Life. So, it's one of those kind of... Inspirational like stories. That. Well, here, I'll tell you, if if it took, you know, you losing your vegetation for your for your plants to look this good on your second pass, I don't even know what your next map is like, how you're going to beat this. Because I tell you, it is everything. It looks so damn natural, but I feel like you placed it also with a little bit of uh, tactics in mind. Definitely. Um, one thing you can do is put it all down and then kind of trim through it and then just add the bits where it's missing. I found that was the most effective way of doing it. Oh, wow. There's even like this, this uh, pipe here, this ditch for the water that would run off from here. And oh, wow. The textures were all uh, generated in a world machine and exported. So um, and I find that water flow has a lot to do with making it feel immersive and real. Because a lot of times when you see bits that would fill up with water or water channels that just don't work right, it, right. it breaks. It's also more sub subconscious than anything else. You but see those, it and you're like, oh, things. that's just weird. Like, that wouldn't be like that. Exactly. It kind and of breaks. Also subconscious yeah. will notice it too. And even if you don't know what's wrong with it, you just go. You're like, something's right. off. Yeah. That's it. I am definitely not experiencing that right now. I look at this and I'm just like, holy cow, with how these compounds have been kit bashed together, they're amazing. Like this, this is, it's like these tunnels to, to get to these close indoor, like this is going to be a, a favorite for players. I'm telling this right now, this is going to be a classic map. Silver is going to go down as a classic squad definitive map. It's got all the connect the dots. You have these cool, uh, narrow passages, but that also have multiple routes to get wherever you need to go. When you take a look at this, you've got three or four main channels that you can sweep through that connect from point to point, and then you get this internal struggle. You get to fight in these compounds. Man, Danish Baka on chat saying what's the new game mode it's called destruction danish and we're going to be featuring it again here on the uh total war modded server after these two other world first maps here one of which is uh we're looking at it silver brought to you by none other than elite lurker and i want to put that game mode on this map for oh, sure. oh oh man <laughs> It's, it's also very made for that kind of gameplay. Once it expands the full three by three kilometers, it will, uh, yeah. If you want it, uh, I'll give you sources, boy. Danish Baka says this map looks friggin' awesome. It it does look incredible. There's the waterways. I can't believe now that you say it, I look at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, the erosion and how it all works. Like that is so key. And I'm always going to pay attention to that now. The where this water flows, it it really carves the map. Looks like you oh, you used very long time generating that terrain in the world machine. Uh, unfortunately, not. I was uh, even less useful with my time. It was some of it was in done, done in world machine, exported into. Unreal, where I shaped it and crafted it, and then I put it into Photoshop, and then I copied and pasted it around to get all the valleys. And then I went back in, and it's all been hand edited. And as I detail an area, I re edit the terrain, export it back into World Machine, and then it gives me the nice texture maps. All that wonderful erosion. That's what really brings it together. Yeah. And this um, this t uh, texture material was done by Iron Taxi, uh, and it's just floating around in the SDK, and it's a 
wonderful texture mat to work, work with because it has very good frame rate. Well, and it's just got a beautiful, rich texture. You get the dust of the dirt. You get the the sharp crags of the rock. This is yeah, very nice. And here we are floating over uh, South Farm, but there's actual action happening to the north. Let's take a look. Oh wow, there's these cool little places up here. Is this, and this is all traversable as well. As I see TG crawling eye up here. Oh man, this is going to be a scary situation up here if you are going to take the road less traveled. Uh, not a lot of cover or concealment up here, but it'll get you from one place to the other much quicker. Hewis has a question for you, Elite Lurker, saying, did you make this map uh, with V10 on your mind or V9? Uh, I made it with V9 on my mind, but with helicopters and tanks in mind, so it's very much designed for helicopters. That's why a lot of those field paddies are there, just to give you easy landing spots relatively. Oh, wow. And um, it actually works on V10. Um, when the when we were all playing that, I loaded up and it worked fine, no problem. Oh. Wow, this, this isn't even a point in play, and it might be my favorite point on the map. I don't know what to call it. Here, it's like this canyon city. It's this alcove split down the middle with stairway to, come and call it stairway to heaven because there's all these stairways and it reminds me of some like Italian Venice. Yeah, this, this, is, is, this is one area I, I felt like I maybe overdeveloped a bit, but uh, I just went with it. And, it uh, oh, I love it. There's going to be a few other areas. In fact, um, I'm not sure if you can go through the map border that I've put up, but as that expands, there's a few areas that are visible that are half done, um, and there's a few areas that are almost completely done. They just need the clutter. Ooh, stuff added to them. I, I so, can yeah. actually fly to those areas. Why don't we take a look at those after we look at all this wonderful done stuff here? So here we're going to the hotel. Oh, and hotel even feels like a hotel. Like these are the different bungalows. And oh, wow. Ah, Danish Bacchus is Venice after uh, an EU nuclear meltdown. Yeah, like the different bungalows. Like these are your different suites at the hotel. And Carta yeah, CD Ron Box, it says the compounds are really well done, Lurker. Yeah, this one does require detailing. This is one I've, um, because I was not sure how this would play out, this particular one. Uh, it's the only one I had a bit of worry with, so I left the detailing. I don't have to sh shuffle it all around uh, twice. Well, you know, they can't all be these uh, labyrinth complexes. The thing I like about uh, Hotel is that there's a simplicity to it. It's almost like a shell game. Like, what are you going to find behind door number one, door number two, door number three? And it looks like, wow, you can approach it from a bunch of different directions. So from yeah, yeah. the hilltop. The, the premise of the design was that to all, it, although there's lots of hills and cliffs, infantry can move very freely, and it's made to, all the areas are designed to be very porous, but still have a little bit of a choke point here and there. Um, so you've got double doors and stuff, and a lot of these, um, for instance, uh, the other compound this is connected to, all the poppy fields, South Poppy Farm, I think it is. That's basically designed to be like a its own individual Counter-Strike map. And I've had a scrim layer of just that as well. Oh, wow. So this this uh, poppy farm area here, yeah, definitely could be its own close quarters combat arena. That's it. And so it'd be good for tournament play. Um, I think two squads of nine would be the maximum. That mm -hmm. would really fill it out a bit too much. But nine versus nine be pretty perfect i think so tree finger 66 says i just flipped the lodgy on this crazy bridge oh and i'm actually getting out of the play area and i'm already like oh man there's some cool stuff over here let's go find this crazy bridge that tree finger's talking about could be the mech shop here oh no yeah i think it might be over by the mech shop unless it's a very small one which is uh over near the uh it's near uh Android. right where am I here? It's uh, to the south of South Poppy Farm here. Oh, no, there he is. Big, <laughs> big cheeky breaky. And then I think we got pizza coming, so I have to 
take another quick break here, guys. What's a good? I want a pizza too. I know you birthday gotta... pizza. I'm just got to share. Sit. Yeah, that's right. I'll mail you some. I'm gonna set up right here, boys. I'll be right back. Feel free to talk about. I'm uh, looking at hotel and uh, a beautiful vista. Mm, I imagine placing those Z ZU 23s from the V10 on those on those hills. Ah. There's a lot of really good things. Like I, I really like this map because if you were to put this up for other modders, the amount of different layers and game modes you could do on this is pretty uh, awesome. Oh yeah. yeah, it's been designed with all the game modes in mind, and the idea is there'll be like at least five skirmish maps based on it, on uh, different parts. And uh, once the full layout is there, um, it actually zigzags a lot, so it ends up being kind of like seven kilometers of just this brutal marathon of of uh, squad gameplay. So I'm hoping it's going to be one of those maps that always is at least an hour long. In that narrow alley in that in those rock in that rock city. It's a kind of ideal place for a MG gunner on the, with the bipods. Yeah, it was made to be a, a, a very dangerous clutch point, but you can just go over it. But then, of course, you can get lit up by snipers. It's that whole risk reward, which is throughout the whole map. Um, there's also a few uh, secrets here and there, things you can crawl under and stuff you wouldn't uh, normally quite expect. Uh, Try and add in as many of those as possible. Uh, little kind of features. I do want to say though area. that uh, everyone knows that every uh, map that's submitted to the mod bound up, I take a very very close look at, and I'm really happy to say that I did not find a single row code sus in this map, uh, which I cannot say for the other two. <laughs> Unfortunately, I missed that meta. Uh, and maybe next update. Maybe <laughs> next update. Uh, oh man, I, 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 this is really nice. I just like how everything blends together. Do you play a lot of squad? Like, are you playing in competitive or anything? Uh, not competitively. I, I really want to, but um, uh, I just play casually, pretty much. And I have about only, I think, about seven hundred hours the moment um but i was only playing after it came it came to steam and then i only really got into it i think around v8 or maybe just before v8 came out just before vehicles a couple of months very nice it'll be uh, really interesting to see what the competitive community uh, does with this map uh, what my previous gameplay was from planet side 2 and bad Feel bad company 2 and then many years previous to that um battlefield but um i haven't checked out project reality too much uh, but i know a fair reasonable amount about it so um that's the thing is i did want to make this a little bit more action-packed than than the typical squad map whether that ends up working out or not um yeah it's a but i still want to make it squad because i really am enjoying playing squad <laughs> guys in the game says this map is awesome delete narva and put this in it <laughs> it's it's funny because i think that um that map is actually quite good it just needs uh need some layers quick once over yeah, yeah just uh, so quick once over and some uh, layers i knew i do know that there's a lot of uh uh actually i need to be careful the there's a lot of uh, effort that's been put in at updating old maps from what i heard yeah i was suspecting v10 might uh get a bit of a facelift we've seen a uh, that uh was it a logan uh logar valley uh no the fallujah concept art oh, yeah. Or, yeah so uh well we know they, that logar uh, valley has had a pass i mean we saw that with the mm. uh, v10 play test Well, I think with the uh, slower pace of the game that V10 will bring, uh, 
uh, this map can really use uh, in some kind of in, in, I don't know, invasion layer with the t with, uh, with the low amount tickets for uh, attackers team uh, and it will be right some something in the middle between squad ops one life event and public play because you will need to go sm slow and smooth yeah, and remind me uh, remind me Loka to talk to you after stream I have a list of things that uh, you can easily fit to get this uh, playable cool that'd be good um, but yeah I also I really want to put that new game mode in at destruction because I think that will play really well especially with the uh, two different valleys uh, having teams push on two different valleys would be really interesting that's it and um, there's like parallel valleys in the middle of the map once that they're filled out um, it's mostly the north of the map I need to work on a lot of it uh, just detailing that uh there'll be yeah those two parallel valleys that can be fought over up and down as well as across that hill across the, from each valley to the other so um yeah it should uh be a bit of a mess <laughs> And for all the other people that are looking to get into modding and mapping right now, what's the best advice you can give them? Um, the best one is, is start. Um, free up a fair bit of uh, space on your hard drive, preferably on SSD, just make it a lot easier. Oh, that 90 oh, gigabyte SDK. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, get the SDK and uh, jump on the Discord. That's probably the best thing. Get the SDK, get the Discord. Well, and actually, then... you can compress your SDK from 90 gigabytes to 60 uh, if you own Win uh, Windows 10. I I did it. Oh boy, yeah. I do not want to support that. So we won't we won't officially recommend that, but it is an option. It is an option, and if you're doing it on SDK, uh, the S SSD, um, it's, the load time doesn't actually change much. Like eight, ten different. It does work. Um, at the moment, my squad SDK is blown out to I think 160 gigabytes, and I deleted 10 gigabytes of autosave. Yeah. And uh, actually, <clears throat> also you will need at least uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM to work at least comfortably uh, in, in the SDK. And even with the 16 gigabytes, you will, will be get, tight. yeah, it will be tight because uh, because sometimes you will uh, just r r r for some reason you will run out of, of RAM and SDK will just close up and uh, all your progress will be lost. You know, I did it. <clears throat> I had it uh, in the past 24 hours. Mm. I don't know, maybe five times. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a very trying night. And uh, Brando Commando, uh, the game mode that we we're showing off is the destruction game mode and not the uh, territory control. If it was territory control, I would have pained a lot more people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well said, well said, Roka. Well, I'm back. We got the birthday sleepover project happening. Very excited. Max is... Uh, got us some new toys for his birthday so and he's letting me cast right now so i thought that was very kind of him to do so uh did he get any army toys you know he got a bunch of drawing books which he uh he likes to draw squad stuff so seriously yeah he made me a picture that's Daddy's squad room, and it's uh, he's got a BTR on there and a tank and a guy in a bush. It's pretty funny. Uh, it's pretty funny. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah. I managed to capture uh, Nordic so yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> Same Nordic. JL 1834CX. Any word on main battle tanks? Uh. We've seen some media for them. Uh, we have no official word on when they're going to be coming. I wonder if we could like mod world. in a tank faster than uh, Offworld could release one. Do you think we could? Should we have a challenge? So, 
Mm, okay, so <laughs> real quick, modders have it extremely easy because they only have to focus on one thing. That's so true. You have like That's hundreds true. of modders focusing on individual projects. Well, OWI has uh, 50 people focusing on an entire game. Exactly. And second thing is that uh, there is uh, some people working on tank mods, and uh, if they're good enough, OWI has in the past pulled in mods into the official game. The uh, uh, viewpoint, I can't remember which vehicle, the one that uh, has multiple viewports in it, uh, that was a mod from uh, FFO Mumble, uh, one of the layers from Bill Nye the Science Guy, uh, Mestia was a uh, map mod that was brought in. Like, there's tons of examples of it. Mestia uh, was a mod map? Really? Yes. yes, Mestia was made as a mod map. I thought uh, El Basra was as well. Yes. El Basra uh, was it, it was a uh, El Basra, it was a Kokon, but I wasn't aware that Mestia was also a mod map. Yeah, Mestia was made as a mod map first, and El Basra was also done such. I didn't know that uh, Kukan was. No, Kokan was a recreation of okay. a PR map. And is this, right, is so. this crazy that the tickets are actually 161 to 160? Wow, it's ridiculously close it is, right it, now. It is extremely balanced. I have been watching this match, and it is it is amazing. Oh my gosh. I tried if, pretty hard to get the balance. <laughs> Lurker, if you oh somehow God. managed to, to crack the nut on a balanced match... Uh, this is this is one ticket difference right now. Oh, so sound blood, boy pushing in with the with the, his guy. Smoke out. And they're currently uh, discussing the destruction game mode, and they'll be into the server. Sorry, what? Uh, who's I'm talking discussing? to Johnny. Ah. Oh, the, we have um, several clans that are uh, discussing the game mode and tips, and then they're going to be getting into the public server. Oh, do you think? Do you think? Uh, where the? Where are they at? Because does uh, does virus need to be in on that? You think? Oh, I'm taking notes. Okay. Oh, mortars. <laughs> Someone goes, are we ready for the next map? And then uh, Nibriv says, let's just play this forever. It is really a beautiful map. Yeah, thanks. Um, it's, it's strange because like, I've always um, put off detailing in my maps, and I'm not an environment artist. I'm a level designer, so I just try and do the gameplay. Um, so it was really, I had to push myself quite hard to do all this, especially after the first love the uh, train vegetation got wiped. Cool. Oh my gosh. That would be, yeah, that would be very demoralizing. Noodle, this is silver. Silver AES V1. And how you doing, Noodle? It's pretty amazing. I think we're gonna do one more small, small infantry map, and then we'll uh, once we have enough people, we'll move on to the uh, somewhat larger map. Yeah, this one's pretty awesome, Noodle. We've got uh, Elite Lurker here. If you have any questions, he's the creator of the map. Yeah, uh, I see in chat that someone's saying it will 32 gigabytes of RAM work. Uh, yes, it will. Uh, I actually started running out 32, uh, sorry, 24 gigabytes of RAM that I had because I was running Photoshop, World Machine, and throwing some recording as well. And, and uh, I went to 64 gig because it was only 64. <laughs> yep. And I've, I haven't capped that out yet, but I have got it all the way up to 40 gig before. And Oof. Unreal Engine will use 24 gig quite happily. I bet it will.
Yes, my dad calls on Skype there, JL. <laughs> I, I just sent him the link. I wonder if he's going to be watching. He's normally the only guy watching. Now we got more than we got more than a couple people here. So this is pretty cool. Started from the bottom. Now we're at the top. That's right. I don't know if we're quite at the top, but we're getting there, Johnny. We're getting there. We're slowly but surely. Thank you, buddy. Nice job. Currently, one hundred fifty-three kills to one thirty-seven, and uh, one hundred fifty-four tickets to one thirty-nine. So Russia, about twenty tickets oh, ahead, ten tickets ahead, for fifteen <laughs> tickets ahead. It's really weird how the kills match up with the tickets so well. No, oh, those were nice mortars. With keep with keep in mind, there is a no mortar calculator for this map. Right. There's not. Especially with the elevation, that's going to mess with mortar calculations. But. Well, three actually. Things. Actually, one of the uh, best mortar calculators for the Wula Squad Boys uh, it's, uh, get, takes uh, elevation difference in account. But it needs haste map for, uh, for actual level. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Noodle on chat. Or lurker, it looks like you just responded in chat, but I got to read this out loud because it's worth reading it says awesome map elite can't wait to see it implemented in v10 looks like so many great angles to play with yeah thanks um also if you have a quick look at the map um the map on the, the min map you will see i'm putting um lines uh elevation lines up. yeah so i did that in photoshop um, oh wow I think this is one of the only maps to have elevation lines, huh? And it's very necessary with this map as well. Uh, oh, yeah. Because of, the, because of the roads and everything, you don't want to be telling your squad to drive a lot more than the impossible. Just make uh, uh, the map looks like, uh, like, like real map, the paper one. Yeah, I was like thinking a... about giving it more, uh, more layers and doing a few things more like that as well. I didn't want to push it too far. Um, I'm going to actually scoot. I could go beyond the map borders here. We can take a look at this. This is going to be a fun new place around the corner. It looks like you've blocked it off for now. Like a landslide happened here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and that's a landscape. Uh, that's a layer level. So uh, my squad maps are made up of three maps and mm -hmm. like you know, two maps inside of one map kind of thing as a parent. Well, what I've done is I've broken it down into even more. So if you're playing on this side of the map and this is the only way of being used, there's stuff on the other side of the map that won't even load at all. Um, so it's not even about it not getting rendered because it's not visually seen. It's not even there at all in, that, in this particular version. And those rocks are on their own layer. So I can turn them on and off really Nice. Easy. I'm just cheating and going over to all these other areas and I'm just seeing what a beautiful canvas that you're going to be able to paint some really cool stuff in here uh, as far as compounds are concerned and this is going to be pretty cool noodle says looks like this map could be a meat grinder um as you just moving over here where there's the vegetation but you see it's kind of cut out in places yeah and that's a whole there's a whole town there um it's, it's about you know 15 buildings or something oh wow and, um have got an abandoned uh, spot down there in amongst all that greenery and um, the air drives that you moved over before that's designed to be a scrim map as well so you basically go left to right and it should be pretty pretty good this is pretty awesome lurker this is a this is these are the kind of things that make the wait for v10 this is why i'm really hoping that these mod maps like these map mod servers really get more traction because i'll tell you maps like this W make it that it's like yeah you can bring v10 whenever instead of oh my god i need v10 now like if you have a chance to play on this because it, it changes everything and there's so many other great maps as well there's just like a lot of content out there we just need to get those servers rolling and yeah once you get the numbers in there they basically just keep themselves alive <laughs> noodle says very project reality like which is what we want and carter says really enjoying this match 
And then Bum says the trees are a bit too green for that area. But that's some good feedback there, Bum. I think that... Yeah, you know, yeah, I should probably tint them down, especially the ones that are higher up. Well, actually, I don't think they're too green because, yeah. you know, uh, you, you can f Google some photos from the Afghanistan from the, uh, from the summer period, and there are lots of greens, actually, down there in, su in such kind of areas. I also love, really nice I love the sky. I love the sky uh, box you have, too. I, I stole that from somewhere on the official <laughs> map. So I think I've tweaked it a little bit, but I really haven't done much to the Well, there's not the, the line. There's a line in one of these sky maps that drives me nuts every time <laughs> I see it. Yeah. yeah. Like small things. Good job, guys. That was fun. It was. Yeah, it's just <laughs> We got my special guest Milo on the stream. Milo, you want to say hi? And we were winning. Hi. Oh, he, hi Max. He's, he's got a Milo's got a earache right now, ear infection. Man, it's just gonna be party central and ear infection and all sorts of stuff today. But we're Yay. here. <laughs> oh wow, a night mode. Assault on Argon. Oh, I'm here. Hi, Wanda. Uh, it's night time. It's Wanda. It is night time, and it looks like we've got another nice small little area here of the beautiful uh, T. It's the TCA. It's combined arms TA combat training facility perfect Absolutely yeah i right. did it i did it all right so we're going to do one round of this says row code and I will try to stream as much of this as I can. Uh, but I have a hard stop at uh, 3.30 or 3.45. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Because we got a birthday party starting in 45 minutes. <laughs> and I need to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lazy Saturday. Run there as well. Sounds good, can't do. Thank you, Incarta. Thank you, Doodle. I will pass along birthday wishes to Max. And Wanda, what can you tell me about this area of the map? Uh, this area is was originally the main like focal point of the map before I ended up adding the other large area. So it's just two sort of upper and lower parts of a town. And uh, I said, hey, infantry, they can fight there. It'll be chaotic. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sweaty malls. Thanks hey, for the. Man. Thanks for the follow. Hey, Wanda, what's up with all those vehicles deep east uh, on, the, on the border? <laughs> we're, of the we're, map? Not, we're not supposed to talk about that. You know, I was a little too lazy to get rid of them. If someone wants to run 30 minutes to grab vehicles from the main of the other map, <laughs> you can drive it back. And you know, actually, looks like US team will be, well, if they manage to get there, they will be able to use BTRs. <laughs> Yeah, the Russian one, I, Russian one, you could probably actually walk. It's like a 20, 25 minute walk. The map is huge, so it's a long, boring walk. The worst uh, strategy, send one guy out. Your job is to go over there and get all <laughs> go the way back. Get, get, get the freaking, yeah. You'd have to send two. You get a rally point over there. Jesus, so. it's uh, three... 
like uh, three uh, and a half by three and a half kilometers, I guess. Yep. Uh, the total size of the map is closer to five or six. To get to the main, it's probably three kilometers. So, Kodesky Wolf, thanks for the follow. I just love this, like how they form a line as they move through the trees. Like the opening of this is so amazing. Ron, Billy, JJ, oh yeah, down. look at that. Oh, they didn't follow my advice. This is not gonna go well. Uh oh. You'll be fine. What was your advice, Wanda? Uh, I told them to push the mosque, the American team to Give push the mosque, because the Russians' main is very close to the mosque. They can just run through the woods. It's very hard to take back. But they're so trying to block the other caps from the Russian team. Hmm, those buildings on the uh, building LL point, are those uh, original or...? Yep. There's a lot of original buildings. Yeah, it's hard to tell which are which. So all the buildings with sloped roofs are uh, from like Narva, just with a cinder block texture. But any of the other sort of rectangular buildings are all custom. Yeah, this this side of the map, I, I remember kind of looking at this last time, and it definitely feels a little Narva. Which each, each of this this map kind of has like a, all these different flavors all over, you know? Varied. Yeah, the other towns are a lot smaller. Very small building. And the cap zone is just a single building. Also, Johnny, have you found the uh, sewer network? The what? What's that? The sewer networks here. The these custom tunnels over here. Oh, where's the? Where are you? I'm uh just a little bit southeast of ah, uh, or do south there. Look at the tunnels here. Notice this while playing. Uh, I don't see any tunnel. Where am I going? Where am I going? Yep, keep Look. going northeast, northeast, northeast. No, stop. Oh, under gosh, the bridge. Like, you can see under it, the, the, bridge, yeah, under yeah. the bridge. Oh, under the bridge. Oh, here we go. Oh, no way. No way. No way, no way, no way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's cool stuff. <laughs> That's some cool stuff. Feels like Half-Life. You need to She's go up like, some more, Milo? Yeah. Oh, wow. She's like team and T. That tunnel exists in the real location, and uh, real spooky. Roll, but oh. If we hyperextend, we might lose mosque. How are you guys doing over there? We're, we're holding mosque. We good if you guys want to push. Is Afraid of Girls says Milo is a good name. Thank you, Is Afraid of Girls. I appreciate that. He's he's a he's a cutie patootie. So Russia has building LL, building JJ, Mosque, building E, no US on there. US still just throwing bodies on Mosque. Mosque, very defensible position. And really, US, yeah, has to go straight down the street. They've got a Perfect view down the lane. Oh, but U.S. getting there, starting to cap it. Oh, we did not name him after Milo Miliopolis. No, we did not name him after that. We have Max and Milo. And, uh, because they're two M names. Surprise, they took it. That was a good attack on They the did it. They did it. They cleared it. I didn't think they were going to be able to do it. They just pushed right in. Yeah, we're already surprised it's the moss they got in. Now they're set up to take the next building. Yeah. 
You need to talk with your microphone, Milo? Oh, you want to talk to Papa? Oh, maybe at the party. Maybe at Max's birthday party. Oh, man, and USA actually, what is happening here? USA gets in on top of LL, I believe. No, JJ. JJ. Papa, Oscar, Oscar. Papa, Oscar, Oscar. <laughs> that's that's uh, military phonetic <laughs> alphabet. <laughs> yeah. For Moo, I think. Or Poo. Papa Poo. Oscar Oscar. You jet flash 99 on the other side here. Oh, yeah. Papa Oscar Oscar Poo. TG Poo. I believe uh, w when the two. Uh, uh, two same letters uh, yeah, are consequent. They uh, just changed with uh, interchange with a number like Papa Two Oscar. Oh, there you go. Papa Two Oscar uh, could be. At least, I, at least I think. Could be. King Suli. Finishing up this this dig here, and what was Russia advantage now diminish at 173 to 314. And that was an amazing building clear, Johnny. Like absolutely textbook. They went through check corners. It was it was it was a, a great. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's what this map I feel like is for. Like this. This, this will be the definitive, and I know, Axe and I said this before, there's a Jensen's Range 2.0 on the horizon that I'm not aware of, but I think this is going to be a definitive, the map that you train on, because it's just got all the space, it's got all, all the models, all the terrain, and you get that also, that downtime that when you go from, from section to section. Yeah, it's very good close quarter combat tra tra training map. Yeah. We got Milo talking about his new fire truck. Holy cow. I don't know what Russia's going to do. I don't think they can do anything. They're coming back. Russia definitely has the advantage coming out of the forest, though. Yeah, their main is right there. They, they can easily sit in the forest and wrap as far as they feel like get back into the town. Zero ends. Do I have paint anywhere? Uh, I don't know what you mean, paint. I have paint. paint? Comrade Vlad moving up against a big group of Russians. Jet Flash 99, H8 Leech, and Tree Finger 6. They're actually going to be painting t shirts at the party today. Oh man. Comrade Vlad takes down Legion. Bang, though, stays totally motionless and survives. But I don't think they saw him, or he thought he was dead or something. Oh, Milo, there's smoke. Can you put that out? Can you put out the smoke with your fire truck? What's what? Can you put it out? Oh, no, the fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Karma Coot getting rolled says, what map is this? Oh, it's that try hard wonders map Don't I'm a, too well I'm gonna take offense to that wonder I you're, wouldn't not if you knew who that was <laughs> so yeah look at this firing line from the forest I need to turn on a fire. 
They're gonna have to make a push to the building at some point. I wonder how they're gonna do that. Yeah, they're gonna need, yeah, they absolutely have to. They're gonna get, uh, 43 to 317. I think this map is. You will just be able to see the uh, beginning of the next map. All right. Oh yeah, that tick. Yeah, there it goes. 12 to 316. Russia has to move up. Black Label knows this. He's bleeding, but he's going all out. And we'll be doing a uh, next map next morning event. So we're, uh, kind of ran out of time. What's that, Rocco? Doing the Nets map, Nets modding event as well, uh, since we uh, wanted okay. to make sure we give it a full hour. And so we're Nets going week. to the Samland Peninsula next, is that correct? Yes. All right, and then we're going to do just a quick preview of this on stream. The server is still going to stay up. Uh, and then is anybody else going to stream? I can host you. Otherwise, we'll just keep it here or whatever. All right, here we go. Samland Peninsula, another world first, I'm pretty sure. Yep, just uploaded. Oh, man. Well, you don't get presents today, Milo. If Max gets presents today, it's Max's birthday. You want to say happy birthday, Max? Happy Let's birthday, is getting... Max. Yeah. The steel is getting worse all the time. <laughs> yeah, the steel is getting worse all the time. Pray I don't alter the deal. What is it? I have altered the deal. Pray I don't I do alter, alter it further. further. This deal is getting... Now here's a here's a pajamas. Here's a tutu. <laughs> or something to wear. Oh, Samland Peninsula. Oh. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm playing Day Z. Well, actually, as I read uh, off uh, the, the map description, it based off uh, the area uh, near near Kaliningrad. It's uh, nor northwestern, uh, most northwestern uh, city of the Russia uh, that actually uh, detached from the main Ru Ru Russian uh, territory. It's, Holy cow! Uh, yeah, and I just wonder if I can recognize some places on that map because I was there. <laughs> oh wow! So we, have, I'm gonna need help with these names then, uh, virus. I've, we've well, got it's uh, Donskoy Center. All right, Donskoy, 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 Yeah, Donskoy Center. And then uh, we got... uh, first one. Uh, first one is Orechovo. 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 Yeah. Orechovo. You oh, guys boy. better be taking notes in the oh, stream. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call that yeah. O Town. <laughs> o Town and Donsky. And then... Donsky Center. And there's a Air Base. Bacazola. I can do that one. I can do Air Base. Yeah. yeah. Airbase, old factory, and Barkasova. Barkasova. Bar Barkasova, yeah. Barkasova. Bar yeah, this is yeah, that's right. I'm so bad at this. All right, I'm going to call them. Uh, all right, this is what I'm going to say. We got O Town. We got Donsky. We got Airbase West. We got Old Factory. We got Molotov. Oh, wait, no. We have. It's, it's Molodog. I know. We got Barkasovo. And uh, Malo Dog, Malo Dog, what up, Malo Dog? <laughs> Yo, Dog. <laughs> Yo, Dog. We got Malo Dog here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
the entire Russian squad community is. I know they hate. Shame. They're like Johnny, you jack off. I'm sorry. And I think there's still plenty of space in the server to play this map right now. Let's go. Hey, Johnny, I just jo joined up in the Russian squad and Sil Silent Blood sending you records. <laughs> oh, no! Wow, it is, it is massive. We will definitely have to do a full hour on this one. Uh, yeah, next yeah, time, or maybe even an hour and 30 minutes. This is, a big one. this is huge. This is huge. Well, oh, you can you can log on and play it right now, guys. Uh, I think we're just going to tease it here. We're going to fly over it and wrap up the stream. Just a I believe bit of a it's uh, the map size is about three by three kilometers. Oh my gosh. Well, let's. I'm going to fly over to uh, the main city of uh, Donsky. Donsky? Donskoy, yep. Donskoy. Donskoy. Oh, wow, there's a cool little farm area. If you area go to here. the airbase, by the way, they have custom helicopter models. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's yep, go to yep. airbase. Where's the flipping airbase? Oh, the airbase uh, west here. Dude, it feels like. Oh, wow. We are capping Monolodog, ETA, 45 seconds. Oh, cool. There's definitely some custom models, models here. There's these radar dishes. Here's the custom. Are these Heinz? What are these? Russian transport helicopters? Wow. Lots of helicopters. Oh, uh, custom vans here that I didn't notice before. Oh, let's take a look at these vans. Oh, let's go in there. Oh, oh they're there. We're in. So now that we have the van model, we can finally do a squad heist. Squad, squad heist. Let's do it. When you've conquered 30 minutes, try to mark it on the map. Wow. This city. We built this city on squad and roll. Oh, my gosh. Well, guys, this is the map of maps here. Samland Peninsula. We're going to do it next week as well. Uh, get on it right now. It's in the custom servers. Total War modded. I want to thank everybody for being here. Virus. I need Yep. Thanks for being here, Virus. What an amazing new game mode that you... And I think we're going to keep playing that after this map's done. So you want to get in on this and uh, play the okay. world first new game mode. They, they, they uh, rushed old factory. Yep, feel free to join up, boys. And I'm going to fix him in some box <laughs> that we found today. Of course... That's great. That's great. And Axton, thank you for being here today. Always a pleasure to have you on the stream. They're currently working on something that we're not allowed to talk about. Oh, well, hush, hush. Well, I appreciate seeing Axton's icon in the Discord, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Elite Lurker, can I tell you that Silver is probably going to be one of my favorite maps of all time? Uh, cheers. I mean, I'm really excited to see where that's going to go. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Hainik31 in chat as I'm heading out here for the birthday party. Got a, got a shout out to Hainik31. Click on Hainik's name and subscribe. Like his great squad content, great PUBG content. Uh, Rocode, thank you for being here. Always a pleasure. Strange Zach also is probably working on that secret hush hush thing with Axton, huh? Yes. Oh. Well, as long as it's the A10 mod. It's got to get that in there. And then Wanda, uh, dude, that training map is going to be. That's all I could say. It's going to be. 
I need to actually add training stuff to it now. Yeah. Well, you know, we could do it on stream. It'd be fun. It'd be fun. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do us here for the squad stream, squadmodweekly.com. My name is Johnny Omaha. Thanks for being here. Special thanks to the brave men and women of the United States Armed Forces. For us, squad is just a game. But for those brave men and women putting their lives on the line, there is no respawn button. So thank you very much, active duty military personnel. Thank you, reserves, and especially thank you, veterans, for your service and your sacrifice. The squad stream salutes you. And that'll end up uh, with us here tonight. Guys, have a great night. Stay squad and go to uh, squadmodweekly.com. Download the mods. Support your mods. Shout out your mods. And let everybody know which one's your favorite. Go to custom servers. Total War modded right now. Stay squadding.